we know that a modern carpet firm is not free from conflicts in fact in any carpet firm the financial resources are handled by those who don't own them so this regulation of financial resources by someone else creates a conflict of interest for between the owners and the users of these financial resources any modern carpet firm may come across a variety of conflict of interest now how to handle these conflicts of interest to handle these carp conflicts of interest corporate governance must have two clear objectives the one is the elimination of conflicts of interest particularly between the managers and the shareholders and the number two to ensure efficient and effective utilization of the organizational resources in the best interest of the shareholders and the other stockholders so these two are the objectives that can be much helpful in order to reduce the conflict of interest in any modern carpet firm now how to achieve these objectives to achieve these objectives the firm must have a stronger corporate governance system but we must know that there is not a single corporate governance system that can be fitted well to every firm in any particular country because the characteristics of a corporate governance system may be affected by number of factors these factors may include industrial structure means industry in which a particular firm is operating economic system prevailing in the country legal environment and regulatory framework to which the firm is subject and cultural differences prevailing inside and outside the particular firm now all strong corporate governance structure should contain certain features that may fit or that may be common to every firm we call these common attributes as core attributes that a corporate governance system must have for every company now what are those common attributes the first is that the governance corporate governance must define clearly the rights of the shareholders and other core stock stakeholders two the corporate governance must clearly define the responsibilities of the managers and the directors who control the assets of the firm for the interest of the shareholders and number 3 the corporate governance system must identify the measurable parameters that can be used to judge the performance of the managers to make them accountable four fairness and equitable treatment in all dealings between managers directors and the shareholders and the last complete transparency and accuracy in disclosure of information relating to the firm's operations riskiness of the investment in the company riskiness to the operations of the company regulations and financial position of the company while analyzing a particular firm the financial analysts should look for these core attributes in the corporate governance system implemented in the organization they are going to analyze